Hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today I'm going to show you how to sync up your backup vocals using Vocal Line Project 5 from SyncoRarts. And along the way, talk about some of the new features. Vocal Line is great for backup vocals. So if you're in post production for music that consistently have singers or rappers that are doing backup vocals, this is a great plugin to have in your DAW. Other DAWs with ARA technology capabilities, Vocal Line Project 5 works very, very quickly and easily. And you can actually sync up multiple vocal takes in one click. But I'm using it in Ableton life here. So the workflow is a little bit different, but you still get the great algorithms. And speaking of algorithms, that's one of the biggest new features for Vocal Line Project 5 is that you get the actual algorithms from their flagship product, Revoice Pro. So let's go ahead and set this up. So the way this works, right, I've got a lead vocal here and a couple of background vocals. Right now, I've got the lead vocal soloed with this first backup vocal. And this is what they sound like together now. Think you're the big guy. Thinking you're too fly, but as soon as things get serious, you're acting so delirious. Thinking you're something, but I'm telling you something. Every time you break a heart, it puts you right back to the start. Yeah. You aren't ready, but you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Okay, so that is not very tight. It's very loose. And there are some parts that are just way too far off to sound good at all, especially if we're trying to produce this record and get it out to the public. So what we would do is take the Vocal Align Project 5 VST in Ableton Live and track it on the backup vocal we want to manipulate. And then on the sidechain input here in Ableton Live, I'm gonna take the lead vocal, which is going to be the guide track. So here we go. The side chain here is going to be the lead vocal. The dub is going to be the backup vocal. I'm going to hit capture, and then I'm going to play that entire section again. Think you're the big guy, thinking you're too fly. But and while that's playing, I just want to point out again that things like Pro Tools, you can just hit capture, and it will do it all uh, much faster than real time. And ARA allows you to capture with a click of a button multiple backup takes. So. Um, Ableton Live is kind of behind the game on this one, but it is what it is. And again, it's all about the algorithms and the final product in the end. So as soon as I hit stop here, it's going to show me the guide track. It's gonna show me the dub, and then it's going to show me what it's done. And we can zoom in. We can zoom in over here just to see better. But now if I go ahead and hit play, the dub track is actually going to be the third track here, the yellow track, which is synced timing. Now, another new feature in Vocal Line Project 5 are the different presets. And after you've captured here in Ableton Live, if I change the preset now, it will automatically update. So I don't need to do any more recapturing, okay? I'm gonna come in here and do Smart Align Tightest Timing. And let's listen to what it's done, or the results. Think you're the big guy, thinking you're too fly. But as soon as things get serious, you're acting so delirious. Thinking you're something, but I'm telling you something. Every time you break a heart, it puts you right back to the start. Yeah. You aren't ready, but you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady, take a lesson. And there you go. That's all we had to do and the vocal is perfectly aligned. You can still tell that there's a backup vocal, but it sounds perfect. It sounds really, really good and in sync. And that's exactly what Vocal Line Project 5 does. Now, another new feature here inside of Project 5 is the Smart Align. And what this does is it will realize that this has space here and won't try to sync up this piece of audio with this bit. So it's gonna say, okay, where are the similarities between these two? That's where I want to be syncing to. And this is a really, really helpful feature. And also you'll notice down here, as I flip through my timeline, it updates down here as well. So now I can just jump over here, right? Hit capture again. And now I can capture this second double up on this first channel here and sync that as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Now that it's over, you're calling me over. I'm not gonna play your games. You should know better anyway. Yeah. You're all on my socials, like in all of my photos from way back 2010. But you cannot have me again. Yeah. You aren't ready, but you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Take a lesson. And as soon as I hit stop, it's going to go ahead and render the output. And now we'll have a much tighter vocal. And again, when I play back this section, it will play the yellow part. And now we'll be able to hear the aligned product. Now that it's over, you're calling me over. 
I'm not gonna play your games, you should know better anyway. Yeah. You're all on my socials, like in all of my photos from way back 2010, but you cannot have me again. Yeah. You aren't ready, but. All right, so it's a much more synced vocal. Other new features here are the max difference from tight to loose, so I can actually bring it down. And again, any change I make here will be automatically reflected on all the parts I've captured inside of Vocal Align Project 5. And some other new features are the max shift. So if you've got a really out of sync vocal and when you've done your initial capture, if it's not syncing it because it's just too far away from the guide track, you can come in here and change the max shift constraint to allow it to look at a bigger section of time to decide using that smart align feature whether or not those things are synced up or should be synced up now also if you're experiencing difficulty you can change the alignment rules normal flexibility is going to be your best bet on most pieces of audio but again if you're not getting a perfect sync you can come in here and change those pretty straightforward in what you're looking for and then you also have the dub pitch. This is just going to help prime the algorithm for the audio that you're going to be playing it. So I could actually use high pitched vocal here because it's pretty up there on the frequency range. It's a female vocal. High pitched vocal might do better. If I'm working with a hip hop artist or a rapper with a really low raspy voice, I might go low pitched. And then obviously we have high pitched instruments, maybe like a flute, something that's monophonic and a bass instrument. Again, that's monophonic. So you can use Vocal Line Project for instruments as well. And it's as simple as I've just shown you here. You let the audio play in Ableton Live, syncs it right up, and every time you play it back, you'll have it. Now, what do you want to do to finalize these changes? If I wanted to finalize these changes, I would right click, freeze track, and then you can right click, flatten track. Now, I would usually duplicate that and then save one so I could unfreeze and go back and make changes if I wanted to. But if you're 100% sure that this is going to happen, you can just come in and hit flatten track. And now the synced background vocals are there for me to use and do what I want with them. A couple other things to know about Vocal Line Project 5 it is now fully resizable. You can see that it's got a fluid GUI. You can make it as big or as small as you want. And also you now get two licenses. So you can have your Vocal Line Project VST on up to two different machines, which is always phenomenal, especially when you have like a laptop for on the go and then you have your studio computer. Anyway, that's a quick look at Vocal Line Project 5. It's available already on pluginboutique.com. Click the link in the video description to check it out. And as always, I'm Joshua Casper and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.